how to watermark your video. But first, why do you need to watermark your video? Watermarking helps to protect the copyright of your work so others can still preview your work, but they cannot steal it because it's watermarked. Besides that, it's also useful to bring brand recognition and awareness among viewers. So you can do this with text, logo, or an image, or even use it to add a timecode frame in the video. So I'm going to show you how to do this with Video Proc Converter. All right, into Video Proc Converter, let's click on video first. And here we can load our video. We can either click here or we can just drag our video into this area. Let's click here and just add this video. Now, once it's loaded, you can see here we have watermark. Let's click on watermark. And now if we click on enable watermark, it will enable our watermark. Now let's do text first. So you can write your text here and here you can see how it looks. Then we can change the font here. So maybe you want to change the font, the color or the size. Let's make it a bit smaller like that. And that's it. And now if I move this around and can place it where I want. And here we can also change the values to kind of get it in the right area. If we want to make it a bit transparent, we have the transparency here. So I can increase this to get it more transparent. So once you're happy with this one, click on done. And now we need to export this. So we've made our video and here we can see the output folder. Here we have the settings for the video export. And once you're done with this one, just click on run and it will export this video as you created it. Now back to the start screen, we can also add an image. So let's first add a video again. I'm gonna do the same video here, just for the example. Click on watermark again. And when we click on enable watermark, we can also select image. Now this is really good if you want to add your own logo or maybe a photo, whatever you like as an image. I have this logo, I'm gonna add it here. And now I can place it in the right place. I'm gonna make it a bit smaller. You can also change the settings here as always, if you find that better. So let's place it somewhere there. And now I have my image in my video. When you're done, click on done. And just with, as we had before, the output folder is here and we can change the settings of our export here. So I'm gonna leave it as it is and then I'm gonna click on run and it's gonna export this video. Now the last one I would like to show is how to add timecode watermark. So let's add a video again. Just the same steps as we did before. Click on watermark, enable watermark, and now we select timecode. And here we have the timecode. If we enable this one, we can see it here. Now here you can set the font for the timecode, the color and the size. And once you're happy with that one, just click on done. And don't forget here we have all these settings again. Click on done. Output folder is here, which you can change. And again, with this one, we can change the export settings. So I'm gonna run this again and compare the four videos we created. So here you can see the four videos. The first one is the original one and the three other ones are the ones we just watermarked with Video Pro Converter. So that's how you watermark a video. Keep in mind that with Video Pro Converter, you can also transform video formats from A to B. You can also do quick edits like cut, crop or compress a video. You can make digital copy of a DVD and there is a recorder where you can record your screen, your camera or picture in picture. Make sure to check out the other videos of Video Pro Converter if you want to learn more. Don't forget to like and subscribe and catch you on the next one.